Dr. Raj here with some more Beyond the Pearls. Today's topic is what is causing the orthodeoxia? Now, tell me, you guys are not intrigued by that word. Orthodeoxia, what does that mean? Well, orthodeoxia means that usually when we are standing up, ah, breathing is wonderful. But there are patients that when they're laying down, that's when the breathing is better and the breathing gets worse when they're standing up. Their oxygen drops down when they're standing up. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So let's talk about this 81 year old male with emphysema. Stop right there. We know the patient has emphysema. Does that cause shortness of breath? Yes. Does that make the oxygen go down? Yes. And step one, Pearl, what FEV1, FBC ratio defines the patient as having emphysema. Less than, you got it, 70% of predicted. But let's go on. Patient is post-op day number four. Stop right there. Is that important when figuring out the differential diagnosis of shortness of breath being post-operative? Oh, definitely. What should jump in the back of your mind the minute you see post-op and shortness of breath? Oh, you said my two favorite letters, which are PE. What does that stand for? pulmonary embolism. But let's keep on going. Patient had extensive abdominal surgery with persistent hypoxemia despite adequate management of the COPD. Now, orthodeoxia is noted. What is going on here? What is going on with this patient? They do an arterial blood gas, has a pH of 7.41. The CO2 is 27 and in bolded red, what do you see here? The O2 sat is 86% on room air. Uh, red flag, let's look at the chest x-ray. When I look at this, I see findings more indicative of emphysema. More markings to the basis, kind of like a reticular markings, but kind of a lack of markings, a paucity of markings as we go to the apices. But does this chest x-ray answer why the patient's hypoxic? Why does the patient have orthodeoxia? The answer is no. What should we get next? You got it, CT scan. And because it was post-operative, we use contrast to rule out a what? Pulmonary embolism. Ah, the answer is in this cut. Can anyone see it? How about over here? There's something abnormal. What is that in the left lung? I don't know. What's causing the orthodeoxia? So here are the lung windows. And as you can see, lots of emphysema. Ah, these markings. I'm not gonna mention it, some are on the right. Markings on the left, what is the answer here? And when I think about what's the diagnosis, the answer is, wait for it, pulmonary AV malformation. Wow, how is this the answer? So this is gonna be an, an AVM is an abnormal communication between an artery and a vein, meaning that you don't go through the capillaries. And what happens to the capillaries of the lungs? you take in oxygen and you blow off carbon dioxide. And when we think about pulmonary ABMs, sometimes they're associated with uh, hereditary syndromes such as oster weber rindu otherwise known as hereditary hemorrhagic telangiasis. Or you may hear about pulmonary ABMs when someone has cirrhosis, especially if we talk about hepatopulmonary syndrome. And when we talk about pulmonary AVMs, these are gonna be findings mainly on the lower lobes of the lungs. So when we go back to this CT scan, what do we see here in this cut? Look at this in the left lobe. You see this huge AVM, that's the contrast. So why does the patient have orthodeoxia? Because when you stand up, where does all your blood go? To the bases of the lungs. You get more shunting of that blood and that's why the patient has orthodeoxia. So how do we make this diagnosis? Well, number one, we could use an echo and we can do what's called a bubble study to see, based upon the timing of the bubbles, does the patient have a pulmonary shunt? Does the patient have a cardiac shunt? And a key pearl for everyone is when we talk about prophylaxis. When you're having a dental procedure, I would definitely think about antibody prophylaxis because these patients can get cerebral abscess. Why is because you are shunting the blood to the arterial circuit and that can go where? The brain. And what does this CT scan show? You got it, a huge infarction. I hope this answered the question, what is orthodeoxia? I'm Dr. Raj, stay tuned for more Beyond the Pearls.